Okay, today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom home in Terra Lago. This home sits in Indio in a great development that uh, centers around a main lake that's just about a half a block from here. This home is on a quieter street within the development and it is in excellent shape. It is a short sale, so as we go through it, you're going to see the remnants of people who are living there. And while the house has excellent, excellent qualities to it, don't be dismayed by just the signs of life. The people's possessions are in the house right now, and we're going to be polite as we go through. I'll make some subtle comments about things. But all in all, I think you're going to see that this home is in great shape, and with just really a maid service and maybe some freshening up on the paint, you've got a great place to move into and live or to rent out as an income property. I'm going to do a quick pan here of the neighborhood so you can see everything is kept very uniform, excellent condition, the cars of the neighbors are all recent models. This is a neighborhood of people who care about their homes. It is trash day so you're going to see that out here. But notice that the trash cans are all of uniform size and shape. It's all set up by uh, the waste disposal company out here in the desert. And what that does is it provides uh, conformity and continuity to the neighborhood so it remains nice. Now, let's go inside and take a look at this home. As I mentioned earlier, it's in great shape. It's about a 2,700 square foot home, a four bedroom, three bath, two story home. It has a nice sized backyard. Okay. And we're going to see things that need to be improved on it, maybe just maintained or freshened up. But we're also going to see some great bones going inside there. Oh, they have a cat. But I want to show you just some things, okay? Like this here. Some people would call this a bit of a mess out front. But obviously, this family cares enough to take their shoes off before they go into the house. The cat just tried to go outside on it. I have to get the cat back inside. There we go. I don't want to have a problem with that. There we go. The kitty's back in. Okay. Whew. We're in the living room. The cat is their only pet, by the way. And it's a very clean cat. Okay, we're doing the inside of the living room now. A few things to notice. We have high ceilings here and here. These are probably nine foot ceilings. You walk into a very nice, large main living area. Uh, this one has a nice chandelier in it. This could be a dining area if it wanted to be set up as that, if you care to do that. You have a bathroom there off to one side and a den just as you come in. Like these folks do, I think this is a great room for an office. Okay. The high ceilings maintained. You have good air conditioning throughout the home. You have a ceiling fan up there. You have a nice view to outside. Right now it's got some uh, nice curtains drawn, but that goes out into the front yard area. But this is a good sized room. Your den here is probably about 15 by 16 feet. You got nice double doors that lead into it off the uh, front living area. Okay, it's mainly carpet throughout this house, although there is some areas with tile, like right here in the front. The carpeting's in good shape though. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but there's not really any stains or anything on it. I think, uh, I mean, perhaps with just a vacuum, definitely no more than a steam cleaning, you could keep these car carpets if you wanted to rent this place out. You have lots of windows for lots of light in here. You'll also notice as we go through here, it doesn't really show up in, in here, but on all these windows are very nice mini blinds, not mini blinds, uh, like one inch blinds, maybe two inch blinds, done in like an imitation wood, they're plastic, but white blinds that are done throughout the whole house. They're in excellent shape. I've taken the time to go through the entire house and lift them up on the window so you can see how much light comes in. Now also off the main area is a little area with cabinets for a little hall, giving some separation to a quarter bath here. This here is just a toilet and a sink, okay, with, with a mirror put up in it. And while it does have, again, the trappings of life, you'll see they've got their stuff in here. Notice that they take the time to put down a floor mat. The tile that's in here is in great shape. Even the grout within the tile is in clean, in clean condition. The sink is in good condition. The mirror is in good condition. This room could probably even go without painting, but if you're going to paint the rest, you probably will it too. But again, just proving that even though they're living in it, and they've probably given up on this home staying with them, that's why they've got it up for a short sale, they are still maintaining it. In the living room area, Okay, this would be like the family room area. You've got a fireplace in it. You've got the high ceilings continuing in it. 
You've got your entertainment area. There's a ceiling fan. All of those there, those cabinets over there are built in. Okay, so you have a nice TV and entertainment area. Okay, to uh, keep all your uh, your TV and your VCR, or DVD player. VCR is getting a bit dated these days. DVD player, Blu-ray, whatever it is you have. And notice the kitchen. This is the great room. Okay, the great room is half tile. Okay, half carpeting, tile in the kitchen, carpeting in the living room. The kitchen's in outstanding state, sh outstanding shape. Even though they've got stuff in here and they're living here, you've got a double Dutch oven that I can tell has been treated nice. Okay, it's in excellent condition on it. You've got a gas burner, okay, over there, a four burner gas burner for a stove. You've got a double sink, okay, right down in here. There is a dishwasher, okay, as we go to this side. The cabinets are a stained wood, and the wood is still in nice condition on all of the cabinets. Okay, so the kitchen really needs no refurbishing as far as I can tell but by my visual eye, just a cleaning. Okay, and you're good to go. So your investment dollars in that area are next to nothing. There's a laundry area that goes out to the closet. Well, why don't we go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So you got room for a washer and dryer, you've got some laundry uh, cabinets up here so you can keep your soaps and stuff, there's a sink in there, you got some counter space to work with so when you're folding or loading your laundry, this door leads out to a very large two car garage. Some might even call this a four car garage because of the length. This garage is probably 30 feet in length. They have some things in here but not a ton, about 30 feet in length, two cars wide. So you might be able to get four small cars in here if you wanted to. Not that most people would, but it does give you an idea of how much space you have to work with. There's a door that leads off to the side of the backyard. We'll explore that when we go through the backyard here in just a minute. Hey, meow meow. Kitty cat. Well, she's out in the garage. I'll check on her later. Perhaps that'll make it easier for me to do this part of the, the video. We're going to go outside and then we'll go upstairs. Outside... You've got a nice big sliding door here. The screen is off. Oh, here, maybe I need to unlock it. The screen is off, so that will either need to be replaced or fixed or whatever. The cement out here has lost a lot of its paint. It looks like somebody painted it kind of a, uh, a dark red color, kind of a tomato color at one time, and it's become chipped. So that will need to be repainted. The backyard is in good shape. It just really needs a good mowing and maybe an edging to it. Uh, there's a large area here for uh, plants up on the top. It does need to be weeded, but you have a lot of different landscaping already in there. I'll tell you, a gardener with a, uh, a, a half a day's work for two men or a full day for one could do wonders with this. It is a nice thing. The house itself back here, it's in great condition. Okay? I don't think you need any exterior paint on this house. I did notice some stuff on the front door that maybe you'd want to do, but... All in all, I mean, I don't think you have to. Just really, if uh, all of these folks' stuff was out of here and this backyard were cleaned up, it would be a showpiece. The walls are nice size. That lowest point right there is probably about six feet, six and a half feet tall. You go up to about a 10 foot or so fence up there. Behind you is a street with a nicely landscaped walking area. You'll see it when we go up upstairs. We can look at it from the master bedroom. But that gives you an idea of what this backyard is back. One more here just at eye level. So you can see the plants going all the way down. We'll continue turning to the right. Let's go back inside and go upstairs. Step inside here. You really feel the size of this home when you it. It's not a chopped up floor plan or anything. 2,700 square feet, all usable living space. That's just a little closet door there. We're going to go upstairs now. You can see the blinds up there. I don't know how well we can focus on them. But those are the type of blinds that are all through the house. Okay. As I mentioned, I've just opened them up on the windows. Nice, big, open ceiling here. I mean, if you go from ground floor, that's probably 25 feet up. You come up the top of the stairs, and there's again kind of a den area here. If you had kids, you'd probably make this like what these folks did. This could be a playroom area for the kids. If you had adults living here, this might become a second computer area or something like that, or if somebody had a project or a hobby. Um, we'll go to the left here first. This room is obviously the girls' room. Okay, it's painted pink. 
I think you can see that on the video. Good size, probably about uh, 10 feet by 12 feet, maybe 12 by 14, somewhere in there. You've got a walk-in closet. Not a huge one, but plenty big enough for one person. And if you had two kids in here, they'd be thrilled with this much closet space. Um, again, the mini blinds. That gives you a better view of them right there. And I keep saying mini blinds. Two inch imitation wood blinds, plastic blinds, but all on white. Very nice quality, very nice condition. You'll see this on uh, one other door in here also. They put a lot of stickers on it. So that either needs to be sanded down if it can be done or the door replaced. There is a cost there, but not a lot. Uh, the doors are nice that you have here, so you may want to try just sanding them first. To our left, as we go through, we have a bathroom. You've got a dual vanity sink. Again, needs a cleaning, but in good condition. Nice lighting up over the top. Turn them on there. Woohoo! Okay. Cabinets in excellent condition on it. Floors, still in nice shape. Notice they put rugs down in the main areas where they're going to stand. Again, a rug here in the bathroom. The bathroom is kind of small, but clean, functional, and it's a full bath. I mean, you've got a bath and shower combination here. You've got a toilet with a separate door there that'll shut it off. A separate door here that'll shut off the vanity. Okay, and that is a full bath upstairs. Kind of another cabinet area here with some counter space. Off to this side you have another room. It looks like they have another set of girls here. They have painted some circles on the wall. I think those are painted. Oh, they might be stickers, so those may have to come down. But again, they shouldn't do anything. Nice light in this room. Another walk-in closet. Notice that we've got a, another ceiling fan in here. Those have been in several rooms throughout the house. I may not have pointed it out in all of them. But the, what I'm not seeing here, I'm not seeing any holes in the wall. Okay, I'm not seeing dents in the floorboards or anything like that in it. Nothing more than a cleaning and refreshing of paint would do to make this house brand new again. The door here, you can see the stickers again. Second door like that. So yeah, you're going to have to sand that a little and repaint it. As a matter of fact, I can see some of the stickers have come off here. So you may sand that and repaint it, but those are nice doors. Those are good wood. Here's another door, or another bedroom I should say. Nice bedroom, ceiling fan, again staying with that theme, the room seemed to be between 10 and 15 feet square. Another window, and these windows off the front here, you're looking out into the street view. But you have a nice neighborhood, I mean what's not a uh, light to look at? A little, little light into your life, some way to look out onto the world. Let's go back this way now, we've looked at three bedrooms, two dens, Two living rooms, a dining room area, a kitchen, master bedroom. That's where we're at right now. Master bedroom right now has a large window looking out. This is a bigger room. This is probably 15 feet by 20 feet. Okay. Carpeting has remained good throughout the house. You say, well, you got cable in here. You have a very large bathroom. As we go into the bath area, to the left is a toilet with a separate door. So if somebody needs privacy going to the bathroom, you can do that. You do have a shower here, a separate shower from a tub. It's not a jacuzzi tub, but a deep soaking tub. And again, nothing more than a cleaning that it would take to make it work. I don't know if you can see this on the doors, but there is kind of some calcium deposits and water spots on them. So the shower needs a good cleaning, but there's nothing chipped or nothing broken here. Really uh, just asking the maid to concentrate that or the cleaners, the merry maids, whatever you do for it could make that entire shower brand new again. You get nice views. One of the things here that's nice now, a lady may want to shut this window because you're looking into your neighbor's backyard over there, which by the way, notice, it's in nice shape. Those people even care about their backyard. Across the back area, there's that street and walking path that I talked about. So you do not have a neighbor right on your bath looking into you here. Notice the homes over there. Those are in great shape. Those are some very nice homes and apartments over there. The lake, I believe, is right on the other side of that wall right there. So if you were to go out, you're that close to it. And it's a nice lake. Okay, so there you go. Part of the master bath. We'll turn here. There I am. Hey, how you doing? You got a double vanity sink here, about seven, eight feet long. A mirror that fills the whole thing. Uh, those double kind of Hollywood lights, I call them, up over the top. 
Okay, uh, a large closet, very large, probably about uh, 10 feet by 8 feet inside there. Multiple layers of uh, clothing racks that you can do in there. Plenty of room for a husband and wife, or for some of you, that may just be the wives or just the husbands. Some of us are more clothes horses than others. But this is a nice place again. Now we're getting kind of long on this video, so I'm going to just real quick do a last view here. Okay, out the master bedroom, looking into your backyard, looking beyond at the mountain views and of the large homes and apartment areas over there in the distance. Okay, the nice walking path. And we have just about done our tour. Okay, let's go down here. I like to finish off if I can make it there quickly. We'll do a quick pass this way. You'll see some of the rooms that we went through. The family room area. The kitchen. Back through the family room. Back through the front door. I can show you quickly the family that says absolutely no shoes in our home. That's the people who own this house. Put that up. And we go back out and we'll finish up taking a look. That's the home on Fiore Street down in Indio. I think it's a great value. I think there's very little that needs to be done to this home to make it in brand new condition again. My name's Eric Meeks. I'm working along with Tracy Meeks. Thank you very much for your time.